a whole team of Russian players. Well, that's got to mean terms, right? I haven't even looked at the BR yet, but that would be my guess. I'm sliding up the hill. Whoa, this is new physics Gadget have invented. We know where he is. We've got him scouted. We made him smoke up. And now the Bradley's towing him as well. Nice. Good job, Bradley. Four hits. Okay, well, that's a lot of tanks. Watch your gun. And I got the rest of you. You're next. I need that gun, buddy. <laughs> yes, he got him, got him, got him. Okay, next up. Oh my goodness. Uh, holy moly. What a crazy start to the game. Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, my name's Turney. So I actually planned to get this tank out first when the new update dropped, but here we are a week later and with one day left on my test drive, yesterday we are checking out the Dardo. So what is the Dardo? It's a 9.0 battle racing Italian IFV or AFV with an Ehrlichan cannon that fires APFSDS with its best round penetrating 92mm of flat armour, which isn't too great, and as a rank 1 modification, APDS, which is excellent for when you're grinding this thing out. So the comparison on this is, although it looks like the Japanese IFV, it doesn't play anything like it. No, it plays much more like the Bradley, although even then it doesn't quite play like that. So, unlike the Bradley, we don't have as much penetration, but we have a much higher fire rate, meaning it's much quicker for us to break barrels and tracks, but much more difficult for us to actually enter the crew compartment of tanks. What else do we have in common with the Bradley? Well, so two Bs. Yes, top-down attack missiles. They're absolutely disgusting, but it is hilarious to watch the tops fly off tanks. We have thermals too, but unfortunately they are not on par with the Bradley. They're only generation one and they're not really much use well at all really. Now where this really differs from the Bradley, you can't quite be as aggressive with this as you can be with the Bradley. One of the main reasons being is the lack of excessiveness. Now with the Danger Burger, you've got practically an unlimited amount of ammo. You've got so many Toe 2Bs, so many rounds in your belt, you can just keep firing to your heart's content. Well in the Dardo it's not quite like that. You've only got eight Toe 2Bs, which seems like quite a lot, but they go very quickly. And you only have 400 rounds in your gun of which you need to reload each belt of 100. Now how I found this tank plays best is defending an area. You can set it up on a cap or around a cap. Nothing, nothing is gonna come near it. Not without you splitting them in two anyway. Another bonus of this tank is its mobility. It can keep up with most things. It's pretty fast actually, and it will leave the Bradley in the dust. There's not really much more to say than that guys. So before we jump into the video today, if you wouldn't mind leaving me a little likey, it really helps out the channel. And as always, I'd really appreciate it. And let's go out and well, just, this, well, this thing's ridiculous, you'll see. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've got the terms. We have got the terms, that means we have got hefty BR, not that it really matters in the Dardo. Look at the amount of terms! Oh no! Right, straight into C. That's what we do best. Close quarter combat. Look at this! A this round knocks buildings down. Why is it? Why do you do this, Dardo? You're pretty powerful. I'm gonna get carried away with that, so I should stop. I think there's a guy here. Oh 
yeah, there is. Toe, toe, save me, toe. Oh, extinguish the fire. Oh no, it's a, it's a York. Got him. Repair me. And the question is, do I smoke? I think, judging by that sound in front of me, the answer is going to be yes. It's going to be an XM1, right? It could be anything. We're fully upset, so it could well be an Abrams. Right, we're moving. I do hear some hoovering over here. And hoovering can only mean one thing. Yep. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Ah, he's gonna shoot me. Ah, NATO hump saved me. Where are my missiles going? Oh, okay. Totu bees aren't working for some reason in the town. I see you, buddy. You want to have a fight? I'm up for a fight. Oh, that was a very bad move. There's an XM1 over there. Okay, I should reload the gun. Oh my god, what's going on? This is insane. No, I drove out in front of him. I'm such an idiot. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Oh, he's dead. I think we've used up all our luck here, though. What the hell? That was insane. Better get me on that cat. What the hell just happened? Okay, I need to have a breather for a second after that and recuperate. Okay, there's probably a guy coming up from behind because he just, he just blasted our matey over there. However, I am not yet fully reloaded. And my Toto B's are bugged. I'm gonna get another set of missiles here. Oh yeah, there's 100% someone over there. Okay, they're bugged, but we made them work. Oh my goodness, these tow twos are not doing what I want them to. I think our BMP2 should be able to get him from there. Yeah, he's toast, nice. Right, we're fully stocked up on everything except fire extinguishers. But we're moving. We are moving. There's still some game left here. Oh, yes, baby. Don't mess with the Dardo. Don't mess with the Dardo. Our thermies are on. They're not very good. But we're looking for spots. Oh my goodness, where did that come from? I did not see him. I literally could not see that guy. Okay, okay. Yeah, get out of here. No one wants your off-brand parts or your double-decker hamburgers. I certainly don't. Right, we're going to play the sneaky game here. 
these boys can get the caps. And while they do the capping, we'll do the slapping. Or at least that's the plan, anyway. I'll have to get nicely... Nicely pushed in here. You go, Dardo. There we go, there's one. A wheelie boy. Now, where's this Terms that just killed our Bradley? I'm more concerned about him. I assume he's this guy that I hear right here. No, that's a light tank. <laughs> that was a lucky little missile there, wasn't it? I see this other T-64 there. And he looks very ready for me, but he's just fired his gun. So perhaps... We can finish him off. Nice. Okay, I want to come out this way. Oh no, the MP2M! <laughs> Our arch nemesis, an auto cannon. I could not hear that guy at all with all that shooting going on. No worries, we shall be going straight back in. Yeah! <laughs> It's so fun slapping blades about with this thing. Because you really can. Like you wouldn't believe. Um. We're just going to ignore that terms there, Mr. Leopard. Don't worry, I got him handled. I don't think... I mean, you can laugh at the leopard all you want there, but I don't think the term saw the leopard either. <laughs> premium on premium action. Ooh, BMP. Ooh. The only things that scare me. Mind you, it was only a one. <laughs> All these auto cannons, man, they're the only thing that actually scare me. And rightfully so, they'll delete me in a second. Ooh. That's our first victim. First of many, hopefully. Ooh. Ooh. I think he shot the rock. Thank goodness, because my missiles weren't firing because I was rolling. That's my only one thing I don't like about the Dardo, is sometimes you're really rolling the dice. But then when you can do that, it kind of makes up for it. <laughs> Absolutely vicious machine. Oh, 
I see a speeder. I see someone violating the law. Traffic laws. I want to come around here because I know it's a bad idea. Uh, why not, eh? Why not? Ah, uh, I run out of missiles. Oh. Shoot it. <laughs> Reload it. Repair it. Oh my God. What on earth was that run? That was crazy that was crazy and that right there guys sums up the dardo for me you run in you kill as many things as you possibly can and you don't worry about playing your life you just slaughter and then you will die you can either come back in a backup or you can come back in your normal tank or you can jump in a plane which it is ideal for you'll be what I just did there would be enough to spawn an attacker and a fighter. So I could bring an Italian G91 and an F86. Or whichever one it is the Italians get, I don't remember. And that's it. They're, they're trapped in there. They've got a lot of people left, but they're completely trapped in their spawn. Now, I don't want to overextend. Because, like I say, there's still a lot of players left. So I think that would be a bad move. We'll just go far enough where we can actually see what's going on. He's dead. Okay, back in hole. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think they've got. I don't think they've got much chance of doing anything there. That was a good game. I enjoyed that.